Hey guys, welcome back today to another video. Hope you're all enjoying your day. And yeah, today is Wednesday, the 25th of November. Or yeah, the 25th of November. So um, yeah, we have um eight games in the um Europe. Bleh, the Champions League, sorry, let me rephrase that, the Champions League tonight. Um, So in Group A at 8 o'clock, both these games are at 8 o'clock. We've Atletico Madrid versus Loa Votev Moscow. And um, also at 8 o'clock, we have Bayern Munich versus RB Salzburg. Um, In Group B, at 5 to 6, we have Borussia Mönchengladbach versus Shakhtar Donetsk. And then at 8 o'clock, we've Inter versus Real. Um, in Group C, we have um, at five to six we have Olympiacos versus Manchester City, and then at eight o'clock we have Marseille versus Porto, and then in Group D we have Ajax versus Michelin at eight o'clock, and we also have Liverpool Atlanta at eight o'clock. So the games I'll probably be keeping an eye on the most at uh, eight o'clock is Liverpool Atlanta and uh, Real Inter. Um, um, the five o'clock kickoff I've chosen to watch is Olympiacos versus Manchester City. So, yeah, guys, that's basically all I have to say. And I'll talk to you at half time about Olympiacos, Manchester City, and Borussia Mönchengladbach and Shakhtar Donetsk. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you then. All right, guys. So basically, the two five fifty five kickoffs are over. Uh, Manchester City Olympiacos in Group C ended no one nil to Man City. With a Phil Foden goal, they had sixty percent possession, twenty two shots on target, or twenty two shots, eleven on target, compared to um, Olympiacos's forty percent possession with two shots. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> like Man City dominating every way possible, and then Borussia Mönchengladbach beat Shakhtar Donetsk four 0 Stindl Ivaldi. Imbolo and Wenis scored the goals for Borussia Mönchengladbach. They had 46% possession. Um, um, and Shakhtar Donetsk actually had more 54. Um, Mönchengladbach had 14 shots compared to Shakhtar's 13. Mönchengladbach had 6 on target um, compared to Shakhtar's 3. Um, Mochin Gladbach had five big chances. They took three, and yeah, that's basically all I have to say, guys. Um, the few eight o'clock kickoffs are about to start. So Group A, we have Atletico Madrid, Moscow, Lovebach, Moscow. We have Bayern Munich, RB Salzburg. We have Inter, Real, and Group B. We have Marseille and Porto in Group C, and then we have Ajax. Michelin and Liverpool Atlanta. There was actually a couple of um championship games tonight, so I'm just gonna see have they started yet or how they're going. So yeah. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Let's see. Oh my god. Seriously, what am I doing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, oh my god. Okay, so. Um, it's half time currently in the Middlesbrough Derby County game. It's 1 0 to Middlesbrough. Uh, Millwall are currently beating Reading 1 0 at half time. There's 13 minutes gone in Bristol City. Watford's 0 0. There's 8 minutes gone in Coventry City versus Cardiff City, and that's 0 0. And Swansea and Sheffield Wednesday are playing, and that's still 0 0. Um, the two other MLS playoff games I was meant to put down yesterday's video, but I'm going to talk about them today instead. We had Phil. Philadelphia Union and New England Revolution won two 0 against Philadelphia actually, and then, and then um, and um, Seattle Saunders bet Los Angeles FC three one. So yeah, I'll go through the statistics of those games um right now. Um, Bushka and Bukan scored for New England. Statistics wise. Um, Philadelphia actually had more 58 and they had more shots with 15. New England only had 11 shots. Um, 
Yeah, we're just busy. I'll have to see about that one. And then we've Seattle, Los Angeles. Um, Laredo made it 1 0 to Seattle. Then Rui Diaz made it 2 0. Atorska made it 2 1. And then Morris made it 3 1. There was a goal cancelled due to VAR for Los Angeles, which would have actually made a 3 2 in the 19th minute with five minutes added on. So it could, that could be a really big game changer. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say, guys. I will talk to you when it's half time in the Champions League game. So yeah, I'll talk to you. Alright, guys, so it is currently half time in all the games in the Champions League. It's still nil nil in a Atletico. Lotham off Moscow game. It is 1 0 to Bayern Munich. Who scored is the question. Ooh. Robert Lewandowski. And let's look at the statistics. Bayern have had 63% possession compared to Salzburg's 37%. They've both had 8 shots. Bayern have only had 2 on target, but Salzburg have had five on target Salzburg had three big chances they missed all three um and yeah pretty much Byron scored their their big chance in the game uh Real Inter is 1-0 to Real um Arturo Vidal actually got sent off for Inter and it was Need Hazard penalty in the seventh minute that put them ahead. Uh, okay, so Real have had sixty percent possession compared to Inter's forty. They've had eight shots, four on target. Inter have only had two shots. Neither of them have been on target. Um, they've had no big chances. Inter. Um, it says here that uh, Real had two big chances. They missed one, so not too bad, I suppose. So yeah, that's that game. We've Marseille Porto is one 0 to Porto. Salmaski score. Sanusi, sorry, Sanusi. Uh, let's look at the statistics. Considering Marseille are one 0 down, they've actually had more possession with fifty five compared to Porto's forty five. Um, but they've had less shots. Um, Porto have had four shots, three on target, as in where Marseille have had three shots, one on target. Um, yeah. Then Ajax Michelin is nil nil, and so is Liverpool Atlanta. Atlanta really putting it up to Liverpool because that's the game I'm focusing on the most tonight. Yeah, like they're really actually putting it up to them. Like people think that um that Liverpool were gonna have an easy game here, but like I knew they wouldn't. Okay, so two of the Premier League or the the Championship games are over. Um, Middlesbrough ended up beating Derby County three nil. Um, Millwall Reading ended one all. Um, the other three games, Watford Bristol City is still nil nil after fifty three minutes. Coventry City and Cardiff is still nil nil after fifty one minutes, and it's Swansea versus Sheffield Wednesday, and they're actually winning one nil after 52 minutes so yeah guys that's basically just the update it is half time in the games in the champions league so yeah guys, i'll talk to you at full time so yeah all right guys so it's actually the next day um i forgot to talk about maradona last night r.i.p to maradona you know one of the best players to ever play the game you know it's so sad to see he was so young only 60 years of age and you know he single handedly he single handedly won Argentina the World Cup in nineteen eighty six and he got Napoli to two Syria titles. So you know like it's really sad and I just want to say rest in peace. Alright guys, so um all the games in the Champions League are actually over for tonight. Um I just come Madrid and Olivina Masco um ended no no. Okay, goal disallowed, let's look at the statistic. Sixty four percent possession compared to thirty six percent to Atletico Madrid. With twenty shots, six on target. 
compared compared to Moscow's four and one. I did six shots on target, seven off target. They dominated in pretty much every part of the field and still only ended up getting a draw out of it, which means they're still set to win the group, providing they win their last two games. But yeah, that's basically Bayern Munich won. Uh, Roca got sent off. Uh, I think it was 1 0 at half time. It ended up being 3 1 in the end. Um, okay. So, a war for own goal made a 2 0 to Bayern Munich. Then Leroy Sane made a 3 0 in the 68 minute. And then Barishka scored one. Um, statistic wise, um, Bayern Munich had 59% possession. And where Salzburg had 41. Salzburg had 19 shots, 11 on target. As in where Bayern only had 11 shots and 4 on target. It was pretty evenly matched on the shooting statistic. So. Well, this was probably the big factor. RB Salzburg had 6 big chances. They missed 5 of them. So. That was the difference. I talked about motion left back. Real ended up beating Inter 2 0, Ian Hazard goal, and then Hamanti own goal. There's no statistics. Okay, so uh, Real had 63% possession, 14 shots, 5 on target, and where Inter only had 5 shots, 1 on target. They pretty much dominated the game, and a tour of Vidal was sent off. Um, Manchester City got their 1 0 win, but it was a full forward goal. I already talked about that. Porto ended up winning 2 0. Uh, Sanusi put them ahead, I think I already said that. And then Oliveira I made it 2 0 through a penalty. That's a statistic. Um, Marseille had 57% possession with 11 shots compared to Porto's 9 shots, 4 on target. Um, well, let's off the red cards actually. Ballardi was sent off for Marseille and Grouk was sent off for um, Porto. And then finally, we have Group D, which is Ajax and Michelin. Um, around Graven Birch, Goal, Matsuruzi, Neres. With the goals for oh, Ajax, and then Malib scored a penalty to make a three-one. Let's look at statistics: fifty-nine percent possession to Ajax, seventeen shots, eight on target, compared to nine shots and five. They missed Ajax missed all four of their big chances, and still managed to find out the win. So a fair play, and then finally. We have Liverpool at Nanta. This is probably the biggest shock of the night. Um, I plan to bet Liverpool 2 0. Uh, Illa Kick and Gosson, um, with the goals. Liverpool had more possession with 53%, as in where Atlanta had more shots with 8 and 4 on target. Liverpool had 4 shots in the whole game with none on target. So yeah, that was basically the Champions League. Let's see how um the championship went. Okay, so Swansea, Sheffield London in one all draw. Coventry got their win over Cardiff. Bristol Watford ended 0-0. Um So yeah. Guys, that's basically all I had to say. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. And yeah, thank you all so much for the support lately. Also, side note, please let me know what um, other content you'd like to see. I will hopefully have a movie um, marathon challenge that I did up by the weekend. So that'll be fun. Um, not Christmas related. I won't do Christmas related content until at least the 1st of December. So yeah, guys. Hope you enjoy. 
again if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and if you're new please subscribe and yeah please let me know what other type of content you'd like to see other than football content coming up to christmas because i have a couple of ideas in mind but i don't know whether i should do them or not so yeah just let me know and yeah guys i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and also i'll be doing europa league tomorrow so that'll be up on friday so yeah i'll talk to you then